Immortality is a wild ride. We had thrills, scares, and confusion playing the latest game from the Her Story creator. We are tasked with finding out what happened to the actress Marissa Marcel in a game that seemed like a love letter to David Lynch. So let's discuss the ending. Spoilers, obviously. While it seems like Marissa went missing, we need to break this down from, well, the start of time. Basically, the One, an immortal entity, is part of a civilization of immortals who transcend time and all manner of conventional science. She is the blonde woman you see throughout. In World War II, she took over Marissa after finding her in a field. This basically ends the life of the host, and the One is like a parasitical being. The One has done this for a long time, and alludes to being Eve and Mother Mary, and even Jesus himself. Her aims for taking over the people and telling stories aren't explicit, but she seemingly wants to elevate humanity some way via story, myth, and legend, and is attracted to the real seedy stuff. Due to the boom of cinema as a story medium, she has Marissa, and she becomes an actress. She gets a part in Ambrosio, which is all about sacrifice, sex, religion, and pain, which the one is drawn to, too. However, the film's negatives are stolen, and the film never comes out. But during this, she had a relationship with the director of photography, John Durick. The pair worked on a movie called Minsky after this. However, she starts to have a deterioration of her relationship with John, as another of her species, known herein as The Other One, took over her co-star, Carl Goodman, and starts having a relationship with John, making The One jealous. During a scene, she shoots Carl, and that ends the movie, and thus is never released. It seems like an accident, and then Marissa went into hiding. In actuality, the one killed the other one for getting in her way and was jealous. These beings aren't dead forever, but it's alluded to that possibly burning does the job forever. She comes clean to John about what she is after this but he's horrified and disgusted. She then kills him and takes the body. As she cannot yet be two people, Marissa goes on to be what is thought as a recluse, and John carries on with the one controlling them. The negatives of Ambrosio are given back, and she, as John, gets nostalgia for Marissa and dangerously becomes both Marissa and John, and they start to make the movie two of everything. There's a problem. The other one has returned as the other female lead, Amy, watched Carl's death on screen. It turns out if you watch a one, in quotes, die, they take you over. Now, the being of two people takes a humongous toll on the one and asks for death by the hand of the other one, leading to what seems like Amy burning Marissa. And that's the end of the story. Marissa didn't go missing, she was just taken over. And at the end, we, the player who watched the clips, who was tasked with restoring these movies, gets taken over by the one. Absolutely crazy stuff. I adored this game, and I think it's one of the most interesting and creative things I've seen in a long time. But that is it. Let me know what you think down below. I'm working on a Splatoon 3 story video, an Andor video, and a Rick and Morty video. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.